Hello and everyone and good morning. I am now in um, Vietnam. I just woke up and uh, uh, it's very important to tell you that in, uh, when you enter with Vietnam, you need a visa. Um, I did a visa on arrival. That means I ordered it in the internet. I paid $12. And then they sent me, after 12 hours already, really quick, they sent me a confirmation letter. You have to print out this confirmation letter and uh, bring it with you. And when you, you are at the airport, um, you fill out a form. And with that form, you need one picture of you. You can do one picture, passport picture of your face. You can do one there, it costs five dollars. So what you need is one picture, this application form that you fill out over there and the, the letter they sent you per email printed out and twenty-five dollars. And then you can do this uh, visa on the place. So um, the, the basic thing I want to do is I actually visited a friend here in uh, Ho Chi Minh, I'm in Ho Chi Minh now, and um, what I basically want to do is uh, I want to travel from Ho Chi Minh to Ho Chi Minh, Saigon, to Hanoi with the train. And my main mission actually is to get a tourist visa here in Vietnam. I want to have a tourist visa for Thailand, right? 60 days. So this is what I'm going to do tomorrow. And now um, it's Sunday and I go to the war museum because I think it's not bad to... Um, yeah, I mean, it's Vietnam and uh, there was a war and I think it's necessary to see that... to see that uh, war, which I call American War, from the... Uh, from the from the view of the Vietnamese, right? I heard it's really. I heard that people cried in that uh, that museum. That's it. That's it for today. Um, maybe I show you a little bit from the wall museum. Yeah. I saw the uh, museum more or less, it starts in the second floor and uh, you had a lot of things like uh, the historical truth, like how it, how it actually uh, happened, like with the French and then the Americans coming in and then um, you had a lot of uh, pictures from uh, photographers uh, which was really impressing and um, yeah uh, I was impressed a lot by the war crimes that it's so obvious that there had been so many war crimes by using um, chemicals and like yeah whatever I mean you know the story and uh, you see it pictured and everything so it's quite um, impressive like in a negative way um, and also as a result you see uh, the consequences of uh, the Agent Orange like 85 grams is already enough to um, to extinguish a whole village and then um, you have actually an open air exhibition outside so um, I really can recommend this uh, war museum because um, yeah there are some people who just possess too much power and uh, they just use Vietnam to try uh, all the weapons out and just use living guinea pigs. You know what I'm talking about. And then uh, you have a, an exhibition outside which most of the people when they enter the the war museum usually American uh, veterans are 
highly delighted. You have, I think that's an F5. I like jets, by the way. You have tanks here. And I'm going to this tiger cages where they show uh, imprisonment. How uh, imprisonment system during Vietnam War. And um, I highly can recommend it. It's really cool. And um, whenever you're in Vietnam, please consider to check it out. And um, yeah, make love, not war. Yes. <laughs> this is the tallest building in Vietnam. How is it called? Uh, Landmark 81. Oh, is that the Landmark 81? Yeah. All right. It was built uh, a year ago. Okay. How high is it? Um, definitely higher than any building in Europe. Yes. It's higher than Octa City, the highest uh, building in uh, Europe. So All I right. 360 meters, something like this. And this is the traffic jam. sleep it's past midnight just wanted to have a something to drink a latte tea they have here milk tea um i like ho chi minh very much they have a ginormous amount of motorcycles they have so much motorcycles you have the impression that 50 percent of all jobs here are motorcycle parking slot managers on the sidewalks um, it's, there's, a, um, there's a lot of traffic, it's quite dangerous, but uh, if you're not afraid there, uh, if you're like crossing the street, always in the same path, quite quick, then they uh, avoid you very well. Right, um, that's it. I'm going to sleep now and uh, we'll make a video tomorrow about the visa and uh, I hope it will work well and I will inform you and what I'm going to do tomorrow after tomorrow I don't know yet. Today was the visa day and I'm totally disgusted so here's a little story for you guys and girls what happens is I went to the embassy to apply for my 60 day visa for Thailand and then they checked my papers I had uh, my uh, uh, my bank account so they can check how much I have on my bank account and my two little pictures 
I had the flight into Thailand. I actually had the flight to Vietnam, from Thailand to Vietnam, and then the flight from Vietnam back to Thailand. And then he said, no, he needs the flight when I leave again Thailand in like like after that like whoop, like after this visa expires of 60 days basically and um, so I ask him oh, oh I see so what you want from me is basically when I to prove when I left Thailand no, when I enter Thailand with that visa, you are going to give me those 60 days and then approve of the flight when I leave Thailand again after those 60 days. He said, yes. And then I asked him, can I extend at the immigration, can I extend this visa another 30 days, which makes a total of 90 days? And he said, yes, you can. I said, so I have to book my flight in 90 days. And the answer was not quite clear. What I did now, and now here comes the interesting part. I'm not sure if I'm in the right road here. Yes, I am. Now comes the um, interesting part. And, and that is, I booked now a flight. Um, 90 days from now on to Bali. I mean, in the worst case, I have an insurance. In the worst case, I can cancel it. I'm not sure though if I can cancel it, but it was not so expensive, like 3,000 baht, which is uh, 300, 100 bucks. So what happened? It was about around 10 o'clock. I booked that flight and my credit card didn't work because by accident, my bank, decided to change the security check for online uh, online buying buying something online like like so I couldn't because I have all those security check things gadgets at home so I then decided all right I'm going to pay with family market it's like 7-eleven and the cool thing is where I am right now, the zone 69, first of all, it's 10 minutes away from the Thai embassy. It's right behind me. I will show you on the map. Now, look. So what is good is that, um, i show you a little bit the traffic. So what is good is actually that the family market is just 30 meters from here. So after I couldn't book that flight ticket with credit card, I booked it with family market. And you, if you do that, you get a a QR code or just the RFID code and you have to show that on on the counter over there so what happened first of all I went to the family market she said credit card is not working I have to go to the ATM and withdraw cash three million dong I'm now walking around with three million dong and the ATM is just opposite the, uh, the family market in case you need an ATM so I went back with my three million dong, told her here's my cash. She tried to um, process it. She said, oh, I'm sorry, we only have AirAsia, we have no Lion Air. I was like, great. Uh, what am I going to do? My credit card is not working. And I need that like in, in due time, really. So um, I went out, I told my boyfriend, Take that QR code, go to the family market, pay it, and then I get 
I get the confirmation by mail so I can print that mail or he buys me one with his credit card but it's easier because I will tell my market just around the corner. He did that. I got the confirmation mail that this QR code has been paid but issuing the ticket took another 10 minutes. I went, I went and there's a printer just around the corner also 30 meters away so it's basically it's perfect location to do all the documents you need so what happened I went to the print shop and um, I tried to log in my bank my uh, email it didn't work because they have to send me a security check a number a security number on my mobile phone my mobile phone is not working here in Vietnam it's a Thai number so this is not working but it's super cool print shop what I can do is I can forward my mail to their mail and they will print it and then I did that and then I realized I have no Wi-Fi <laughs> but this super cool shop has Wi-Fi so I logged in and then when I had Wi-Fi I sent it to him they printed it out I paid 5,000 dong I think I paid too much but I didn't care so I got all my papers I run back to the embassy and I was nine minutes too late so now I lost either half or a day because if you do it in the morning you can get it in the afternoon now I have to go in the afternoon and I probably get it tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon so that's the story about getting a tourist visa in Ho for Thailand in Ho Chi Minh yeah this is how you buy a refrigerator on your motorcycle fantastic love it Hello. All right, I went to the embassy half past one, same day, and uh, they accepted it. They accepted my application. So again, if you want to apply for a tourist visa, 60 day tourist visa in uh, Thailand, for Thailand, in Ho Chi Minh, you can extend it then at the immigration another 30 days so it's in total 90 days you need the flight when you fly in Thailand and when you are going you need the flight printed out when you leave Thailand again in 90 days because you get a visa of 60 days and you can extend it another 30 days right a fee of 40 dollars they only accept 40 dollars no Thai bought nothing and uh, one picture a nice smile because you're so patient uh, that's it I'm going to eat now I haven't eaten yet and I'm going to figure out how I'm how to plan now I can plan because now I know so you only can pick up your visas in the afternoons but other than that it's quite quick five minutes if it would have worked out would have been the same day you would have had your passport probably all right see you maybe later or tomorrow